Apple states that the Apple Watch Ultra is the most rugged and capable Apple Watch ever, and that it is built to be the ultimate sports watch. We decided to take it for an endurance test on a 15K, 30 obstacle Tough Mudder with 10,000 volts of electricity, ice water, coal, mud, rocks, and more. How did the Apple Watch Ultra hold up? Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer. And while I have much more testing ahead to fully evaluate this new Apple Watch Ultra, the day after I received it, I put it on and put it to the ultimate test. Now, I was a bit hesitant because I did just spend over $800 for the Apple Watch Ultra, and I was a little hesitant about taking it out on this particular test because I didn't want to trash it and I wasn't sure uh, it, what Apple's Apple Care Plus would cover. Anyway, it turns out the Apple Watch Ultra may actually be a bit tougher than me, and I look forward to more testing. Make sure to check out our first impressions article at ZDNet.com. So the Apple Watch Ultra has a titanium case with a flat crystal glass display and a ceramic back cover with the heart rate monitor. The digital crown is large and it's also protected by some additional structure as well as that right side button. The left side has a new action button on it that you can customize to your preferred function. I ran the Tough Mudder with gloves on because I've this is my third one, as you can tell by the headband, and I learned that wearing gloves for the Tough Mudder is a really good idea when you're going through rocks and climbing walls and all this kind of thing. So I was very pleased to see that the Apple Watch Ultra did live up to the advertisement of working with gloves. The two loudspeakers kept me updated on the one mile splits as Apple would read those off to me. And it also was able to use it for phone calls and hear all of that. Now I did receive a warning after a couple of my jumps and hard falls that I was uh, experienced a hard detection. They're gonna call emergency services. I was able to go ahead and clear that and answer that again with my gloves on before I called those emergency services. I did actually swipe over and lock the display because of the level activity that I was going through and the wrist movement and all that kind of thing, I was worried that the action button might hit my wrist as I was moving around. Um, so I did lock it during the activities. So that was never a problem at all. Um, and then I did have to unlock it occasionally. And I had to clear the crown, to, you push the crown, you hold it in. It actually cleared the water out, which was a good thing because I was in quite a bit of water. And then I was able to exit ax the display and all that kind of stuff um, with my gloves on again. And then I would relock it again before uh, the next activity. Now, one time, since it was, you know, the Apple Watch is new, I had it for less than a day. I did accidentally stop one of the workouts and then I had to restart it because I was messing around trying to contact my family via text message. In the end, it turns out the best thing to do was to use the cellular service that I connected to the Apple Watch the day before. And that way I was able to call my family and have those calls without a problem and everything performed well. Now, I did compare the GPS on this watch. I wore Coros Vertex 2 on the other wrist. I did compare the GPS, the heart rate, all of that stuff jives. So in my initial test, at least, I'm getting some very good results from this. It does have and has been tested to Milstan 810H with IP6X dust resistance and 100 meter water resistance. I didn't quite go 100 meters. I did go in freezing cold water several times. Um, the battery after we ran for about two hours and 40 minutes, the battery went down about 25%. Now this was with GPS tracking on, cellular connections were on, and then all of the activity and things like that. So at that rate, I should get about 11 hours or so. Um, I'm not sure what the advertised is for GPS use and, and activity use. I'll have to check on that again. But uh, in my case, it did pretty well. The band was caked in mud, but it cleared up perfectly. Uh, I did have to run a probe through some of the tubes to clear out some of the mud. Uh, the display, surprisingly, is flawless. There's not I, I've checked it at every angle with my glasses and everything. Uh, there's not a flaw on the display, no scratches at all. And if you see some of my video with the, that I used a GoPro to capture some of those obstacles, it's pretty amazing <laughs> that this display is not scratched or cracked or anything. Um, everything else on this, the back is flawless, the band is cleaned up and flawless. There are a couple of 
very light small scratches in one upper corner around the bezel that's around the display but that's it um, I'm much more sore than the Apple watches today my legs are killing me my back is a little sore uh, we did a lot of work but it's good to see that uh, the risk that I took <laughs> of this $800 investment uh, it just has a couple battle wounds which will remind me of the Tough Mudder. Now it's available as I just said for $7.99 and all one price, one size, it's 49 millimeters. Um, the price is $7.99 and then there's different band options. There's a couple of Alpine and Trail Loop bands and then the Ocean Band. But when I went to order this in, in time for this event, the Ocean Band was the only one that was actually available. However, it turns out this Ocean Band worked out perfectly because it's very, very comfortable. Uh, the titanium loops that you use to secure it kept it secure. It didn't even come close to getting loose or anything. And it was very comfortable through all of the wrist movements and everything else that I did, which is a good testament to uh, the durability and the ruggedness of, of the band itself. Now, I do have more testing ahead. This is just one event that I've used it for. Um, look forward to more testing with this Apple Watch. We'll write up a full review. We're going to have an initial review, but we'll judge the score and everything else after some more testing with the watch because there's a lot to come, right? Um, as I said, I did have cellular connection on this with T-Mobile. All of these have cellular options. Uh, it's usually an add-on of 5 to $10 per month for your carrier. It just depends. And uh, good first test of that first weekend with the Apple Watch Ultra. Now, is it gonna replace my Garmin watches? That remains to be seen. My Garmin watches last for weeks and, <laughs> and not just hours. Um, and they offer also quite a bit of very custom data fields and all of that kind of tracking thing. However, I'm not a super athlete. I'm a recreational athlete. I do like to do a lot of activities and things and we'll see how that performs. I do like my Garmin watches for my golf and my fishing and some very specific activities, which the Apple Watch Ultra does not yet cover some of those activities as good as the Garmin watch. So why this is a fantastic smartwatch, you still, I think, really have to be focused on all of the smartwatch activities have to be a priority rather than all of just the fitness and tracking activities that can be found in a Coros or a Garmin or some other watch. So thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned for more. Check out my uh, pictures in the article and I'm sure you'll see some embedded GoPro videos in this review. Thanks and have a great day.